Good afternoon. Today I thought I would show you this. It is the new brush cleaning palette from Real Techniques and I just bought it and I thought that I would give it a go because I've got a ton of dirty makeup brushes, like so many. It's grim. So I thought I'd try this out and see if I like it and show you what I think of it and show you the soap that I use to clean my brushes and also what I'm using at the moment. So I'm going to compare it to this and see if I like it any better because this is more expensive than what I use at the moment. So we'll see if it's any better or if you can get away with being cheap like me. So yeah, if you want to see this in action, then just stay tuned. Okay, so this is what you get in the box. It's got a little handle on which I quite like the idea of. You just slip your hand into it so it doesn't move around. Um, I always like the idea of the Sigma one that sort of suckered onto the side of the sink and didn't move, so that's really good. Just to show you, this is what I've been using to clean my brushes. I wanted the Sigma brush glove that has been on sale for many years now but it was quite expensive so I was trying to find a cheaper alternative or a dupe and couldn't find one but I found this on eBay for four pounds and it does pretty much the same thing so I'm going to show you how I currently do it and then I'm going to show you the new Real Techniques one so I tend to just pop it in the side of the sink this is the soap that I'm using at the moment to clean my brushes it's from freedom makeup who are a sister brand to makeup revolution and it's just a solid brush soap and it's really good for cleaning beauty blenders too i'll show you that as well here is just a very small selection of what brushes i currently have dirty and i've got a beauty blender in there as well so i'll show you how i clean that um, so basically all I do is I take the brush that I want to clean, run it under a bit of cold water, wet the soap and just turn it, the brush around in the soap. Once there's lots of soap in the bristles I just use the mitt to get the soap right into the bristles and then just wash out the soap try and get as little as possible of the brush underwater because otherwise you can disrupt the glue apparently that's never happened to me but I'm told it can happen and then all I do is just put them on a towel to dry out overnight so that's how I currently do it and I just wash this off basically I'm going to do exactly the same method but I'm going to use the Real Techniques version so I'm just going to pop it on my hand. feels really nice and secure. It's not going to come off. I'm just going to take my dirty brush. Really dirty. Blech. And just do the same again. I like a, a solid soap rather than a liquid one. Especially for anything that I've used on greasy brushes like foundation or concealer because I find that you can really get the soap you can really wiggle it down the bristles of the brush you actually do get a sample of the Real Techniques brush cleaning shampoo with this little mitt but I quite like my solid ones so I'm going to keep using that there you go clean already let's do another one what else we got? Let's look for a really minging one. Looks a bit minging. Let's have a go with that. I actually 
actually really like this. Gets that brush clean quick. Now, I don't know if you can see on this particular brush. Probably can't. But there's, I use this for concealer, and there is concealer all the way down to the bottom of the bristles. So it's going to need another go. Really work that soap in. I'm going to use the big ones, get it right to the bottom, and then the smaller ones. You need to use some pressure, but don't go too crazy, otherwise you're going to damage your brush. I still have some concealer at the bottom of this brush, but that is something that does always happen with any type of brush I've used for concealer or anything greasy. I'm really going to work that down well. Hopefully not damage my brush while doing so. There we go. Pretty much clean. <clears throat> so to do a beauty blender, it's basically exactly the same. You see how dirty this is? It's actually stained and I don't think most of that is going to come out. But I just wet it and the soap. Just keep adding a bit of water until it starts to make a lava. Moving it around. If it's really bad, you could probably use it on the bigger pieces of the real technique. Or board. This is a really old beauty blender, so it's really stained. All the black marks are not going to come off. You see how much comes out of that. Once the water is running clear, your beauty blender is clean. So, like I say, there's a few stains on this because I've had it in my pro kit. So it's got a bit of eyeliner and stuff on it and stained. So, that is it. That is how I clean my brushes. Okay, so really the difference between the two of these is that the price <laughs> that is the main difference um this is really good i really like it i like that it's got the little hand bit on the back so it stays on your hand and stays secure and i like that it's got the different sized bits on it for different brushes um and it's smaller, it's more compact, so it takes up less room in the bathroom. But I really like that. This one cost me four pounds from eBay. And, you know, it's a bit bulky and a bit scabby looking. <laughs> I don't know. But it works really well. So the only difference really is the price. But it, this is uh, this was about £12, I think, and this was four, plus probably a bit of shipping. So if, you, if this is within your budget, go with that one because it is slightly better. There we go. Have you tried this? Has anybody tried this? I'd like to know. Let me know in the comments or, you know, if you've tried any of the Sigma brushes or the pad, then let me know. I'd love to hear what you think or what you use to clean your brushes. Anyway, have a good day. Speak to you soon. Bye.